Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, in this second lecture of the demand, we are going to discuss the shifters of the demand. Actually, uh, we have discussed what are the shifters of the demand. When the whole demand curve shift a rightward or backward, when a price is still remains the same this is called shifting in the demand curve and uh, we said those factors are uh, determinants factors variables of change in demand curve the first determinant is the change in taste as we actually discussed, the word other thing remaining the same refers to all these factors. Make sure. Now the first factor is change in taste. Change in taste uh, actually a decrease in taste for videos result in a decrease in demand. Uh, it would be better to appear when we run these slides as a slide show like uh, uh, you have to wait um, uh, have to wait some seconds uh, so an increase in case for DVDs An increase in taste for DVDs results in an increase in demand and we can see that the demand curve shift rightward. This is called shifting. The whole curve, the whole curve shift rightward from D1 to D2. And at this point, price remains the same. There is no change in the price. Okay. Now we can see that a decrease in taste for videos results in a decrease in demand and that demand curve shift backward. The quantity decreases from QD1 to QD3 and the whole curve shift backward but still price remains the same so when there is a change in taste change in taste may be positively affect the demand curve or maybe negatively affect the demand curve for example uh, currently, for example, currently we have a fashion of bell bottom jeans. Now, the bell bottom jeans uh, is being offered 500 per unit, means you have you can buy a one jeans, a one bell bottom jeans at 500 rupees. But now, assume that the fashion has changed now consumer wants to buy narrow bottom jeans and what it would if what it would affect on the demand curve of a bell bottom jeans the demand curve of a bell bottom jeans would shift backwards why because now consumer will substitute the bell bottom jeans with the narrow bottom jeans and likewise in in this curve the graph would shift backward here for bell bottom jeans so change in taste may have positive effect or negative effect if taste positively affect the demand the demand curve shift rightward but make sure 
the price would be remains constant this is a key to here understand the concept of the shifting now uh, another example of the change in taste for example doctor recommends the health benefits by having dark chocolates you can see in this graph that the price is still constant but demand have increased from d1 to d2 this is called shifting in the demand curve from d1 to d2 this is because of the change in taste and this change is positive change and demand curve shift from rightward from backward to rightward from here to here okay now how change in income would affect the demand curve before i understand this we have some basic concepts of the normal and the inferior good actually what are the normal good in the context of the demand for example those goods when your income increases and you buy more of those products are called normal goods and change in income always have a direct impact or positive impact on the normal goods for example in this uh, slide you can see that this car is a new model car whenever uh, the income of the consumer increases consumer would like to buy new cars rather than old cars and maybe new clothes and sort of things what actually are inferior goods inferior goods are those goods when the income of the consumer increases consumer would like to buy less of those products like used cars in this slide and the uh used clothes and uh, sort of other things you may see that when for example uh, in the first case when the income of the consumer increases the demand curve for the new cars would shift rightward because uh, new car is a normal good price of new cars is still the same but the income of the consumer have increased as a result of increased in income the demand shift from d1 to d2 and if the con income of the consumers decreases it would have a positive effect means d1 shift here some somewhere here okay now we discuss the inferior good for example the income of the consumer increases in case of inferior good demand curve would be affected negatively means the demand curve would shift here because as we discussed the definition of the inferior good when the income of the consumer increases consumer would like to buy less of that product as still price remains the same now change in market size change in market size size means uh, increased in the number of consumers so whenever the market size increases the demand of even inferior or the normal good increases more demand for both normal and the inferior goods as you can see in this graph when the population have increases increases the demand curve shift from d1 to d2 is still price remains the same and quantity demanded increases from d1 to d2 for example we can say that if the number of uh, people in your house are uh, are 5 but uh, recently they have increased 5 to 7 
for example some guests come to your house now the amount of consumption for bread you purchase normally have increased 1 to 2 because the arrival of the guest in this case still price remains the same but you purchase or buy of the increased amount of the bread decrease in the population would uh, negatively affect means the demand curve shift somewhere here expectation above the future price availability and the income for example uh, you may have information that the price of gasoline uh, would be higher tomorrow now what would you do you would buy more of the gasoline today rather than tomorrow so today the demand curve shift here to here same for the uh, case of avail availability for example you came to know that the gasoline would be short tomorrow now what would you do you would buy more of the gasoline today expectation about the income for example uh, you may have information from your colleagues that uh, in the next month you are going to be promoted so what are uh, what effect it would have in your on your consumption today you will increase your consumption in the hope that you may have more more money in the future and that's why you uh, do more expenses today in the hope of getting more money in the coming days and vice versa if you came to know that the your income going to decrease tomorrow what effect it would have it would negatively affect price of related goods there are two type of goods uh, number one is uh, substitute and the other one are called complements for example substitutes are those goods which can be used alternatively means uh, like coke and the pepsi you may use coke instead of pepsi or complementary goods are those goods which can be used jointly like a mobile phone and the sims substitutes uh, affect directly on the demand curve how uh, for example uh, uh, for example uh, the price of pepsi increases from dollar uh, 1 to dollar 2 people would like to buy less of the pepsi but what effect it would have on the coke curve the curve of the coke shift rightward now i would like to discuss this slide in the next lecture uh, you have to wait uh, for a while thank you very much